Balto, The Dog Who Saved Gnome. Read along. Genre, narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction is a story that tells about real people or real events. In this selection, look for an interesting historical event, events that are time order. Balto, The Dog Who Saved Gnome by Margaret Davidson. Illustrations by Doug Rug. This is Gnome, Alaska. Repeat, this is Gnome, Alaska. We need help fast. A man bent over the machine in the Gnome Telegraph office. Again and again, he pressed down the signal key. Click, click, clack, clack, click, clack. He was sending a message to the town of Anchorage, Alaska, 800 miles to the southeast. The Anchorage Telegraph operator wrote down the message. The news was very bad. A terrible sickness had broken out in the Nome area, a disease called diphtheria. Some people had already died of it. Many more would die if they weren't treated soon. There was no medicine to treat diphtheria in Nome. The medicine they needed would have to come from Anchorage, 800 miles away through a wild wind and snowstorm. The storm was so bad that airplanes couldn't fly through it. Trains couldn't get through either. Nome was very near the sea, but the sea was frozen solid. And the road from the south was completely blocked by deep drifts of snow. There was only one way to get the medicine from Anchorage to Nome by dog sled. The medicine was packed in a box and sent forth by train as far as a train could go 
on the snowy tracks. It was still more than 600 miles east of Nome. From now on, teams of dogs would have to take it the rest of the way. The teams were ready. The first team pushed through, pushed north through the storm to a little town. Nanana. There, a second team was waiting. It went on to another small town where a third team was ready to take the medicine farther. At first, the teams managed to go many miles before they grew tired. But the storm was growing worse by the minute. Finally, Charlie Olson's team staggered into the little little village of Bluff, 60 miles of Nome. They had only gone 20 miles, yet Olsen and his dogs were frozen and completely worn out. Gnar Kassan and his team were waiting in Bluff. The wind screamed through the little town. The snow was piling up deeper and deeper on the ground. It was 30 degrees below zero Fahrenheit outside now. and the temperature was falling fast. It's no use trying to go out in that, Charlie Olsen said. I almost didn't make it. You and the dogs will freeze solid before you get halfway. But Kassan knew how important the medicine was. He knew that hundreds, maybe thousands of people would die if they didn't get the medicine soon.
Besides, he knew he didn't have to go all the way. Another team would take the medicine, the last 20 miles to Nome. Quickly, Gnarka-san hitched up his team of dogs. And at the head of the long line, he put his lead dog, Balto. Balto was a mixed breed. He was half Eskimo dog and half wolf. Many dogs who are part wolf never become tame. They never learn to trust people or obey them either. Balta was different. He was a gentle dog who obeyed orders quickly. He also knew how to think for himself. Usually, Gnar Kassan guided the dogs. He told them where to go. Now he couldn't even see his hand in front of his face. So, everything was up to Balto. The big black dog would have to find the trail by smell. Then he'd have to stay on it, no matter what happened. Ganarka's son climbed onto the back of the sled. He cracked his whip in the air. Mush! He cried, move out! End of part one.